Hello, my name is Michelle and this is Full Bottle Worthy. Today I'm going to be talking about affordable fragrances for summer. If that sounds good, please stay tuned. So I've already made a spring affordable fragrances video as well as a vanilla affordable fragrances video. So now that summer's approaching, I definitely wanted to make an affordable fragrance video for summer scents. I know we all have a budget. Some of us, it's a little smaller than others. So I want to give you some options and everything I have here today at the time of filming is under $30, which is absolutely amazing. And I have some real gems here. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First, I have Bright Peach by Mason Alhambra. Now, this is a gorgeous peach scent. It has a little bit of a green note to it and a little bit of patchouli in the base. I don't detect the patchouli in the base, but I will tell you this. I bought this over a year ago, and at first I didn't care for it, but I held on to it, and I just let it sit, let it sit, and I would visit it every few months and then I would visit it again and then one day I liked it and I think it just had to sit for that long so if you are interested in getting this scent first I would sample it but also what I would do is maybe look on uh, a Mercari or the secondhand market Facebook groups whatever you have access to where you're at because one that it sat for a while after introducing oxygen is probably going to have a better smell than a brand new one, even though it's only $20 right now. Again, this is Bright Peach by Mason Alhambra. Next, I have Levon's A Girl in Capri. And this is such a fun citrus scent that doesn't smell like a cleaner. I know a lot of times with lemon scents, they... They can smell sort of like a cleaner. This does not, or a disinfectant maybe. This is not to me. Uh, the main notes are Italian lemon, bergamot, grapefruit blossom, sea notes, musk, driftwood, and amber. I spray this quite liberally. I find it lasts three to four hours with a moderate projection, which is perfectly fine. It's selling right now for about $25 for... Um, ounces so you know the price is right on this it's okay to spray with abandon it's a really nice lemon scent that does not smell like you just cleaned the house again this is a girl in capri by levon next we have el jaheb dubai portrait by latafa and this is a really nice mango scent, but with a twist. It has some oud in it, as well as sandalwood and musk. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a backbone. It's not overly fruity because of those woody notes. I find that this lasts 8 to 10 hours with a strong sillage. It's a Great option for a really hot day. Again, this is Latafa's El Jahab Dubai Portrait. Next, we have Jill Sanders' Sun Delight EDT. To me, this smells like sunscreen. You know, if you want to smell like you just came from the beach or you're sun kissed, this fragrance is going to give you that. Now, the notes might not sound like it will. But to me, that's what it smells like. The notes are passion fruit, vanilla, frangipani, dark chocolate, vanilla orchid, and musk. I don't detect frangipani. I don't detect passion fruit. I don't detect dark chocolate. If they're in there, it's expertly blended because to me, it just really smells like something you'd wear when you go to the beach, a sunblock. So if you want that straight from the beach smell, this is a great option. A Jill Sanders Sun Delight EDT. Next we have Al Haramain's La Adventure Femme. Now this has pineapple, cassis, bergamot, cedar, and musk. I find this to be a cassis and musk dominant scent. It is very strong. I can get away with one spray and it'll last me eight to 10 hours. And it really, you know, it has that bright cut through the heat type scent 
to it. Again, this is Al Haramain's El Adventure Femme. This is an oldie but a goodie. This is Green Tea by Elizabeth Arden. Now, to me, this last one to two hours, it's really more like a body spray. I think when it first came out, it had a lot more longevity, but the bottles they're selling today are really more of a body spray. The, note, the main notes for me are lemon, bergamot, jasmine, green tea, and musk. This is incredibly bright and uplifting. It would be perfect for you know, when you first wake up in the morning or you're going to the gym, you know, you could just put it in your purse and re-up anytime you felt like it wasn't projecting anymore. Again, this is Green Tea by Elizabeth Arden. Next, we have Oil Perfumeries, Another 13. Now, this is an impression of a Lavo scent called Another 13. The notes are different on Fragrantica than what they have on the Oil Perfumery site. So keep that in mind. On the oil perfumery site, the notes are Embroxen, Jasmine, Musk, Moss, and Woody Amber notes. I find this to be that kind of clean, uh, mysterious scent. You know, it, since it has the Embroxen in it, as well as the Musk, you know, it, it smells different on everybody you know I don't know how much that is true but it definitely has that unisex clean smell to it again this is another 13 by oil perfumery now we have amethyst by the leak this is a gorgeous berry scent and it really smells like the entire berry bush the leaves the stem and the berries the main notes are Blackberry, blueberry, mulberry, strawberry, pepper, peony, musk, woody notes, and vanilla. This is a gorgeous scent. Again, it lasts about three to four hours. You're not going to get a lot of longevity out of this. But one thing I do is I purchased the same lotion. So Lalique makes a lotion for amethyst. And I purchased that and I layer them up. And I find it lasts about five to six hours when I do that. So if you have the budget and you can find it where you're at, I would suggest doing that if you want a little bit more longevity out of this. Again, this is Amethyst by Lalique. Next, we have Jennifer Lopez's Miami Glow EDT. This is a fresh tropical scent. There's really no other scent I've ever smelled like this. It really toes the line between tropical and fresh at the same time. The main notes are passion fruit, coconut milk, pink grapefruit, orange blossoms, cyclamen, vanilla, and musk. So the notes like pink grapefruit and cyclamen and musk are what gives it that, that clean smell, where the other ones is what gives it that sort of tropical smell. So to me, this lasts about three to four hours on the skin. It is not incredibly long lasting, but it is a scent that I've never smelled before. There is no other scent on the market like this. Again, this is Miami Glow EDT by Jennifer Lopez. Thank you for joining me today. I'd love to hear in the comments, what are your affordable fragrances for summer? What am I missing here? What do you like to wear that's affordable during the summertime? Leave a comment below. If you got any value out of this content, please remember to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to continue to see more content like this. Until next time, goodbye.